Ready, steady, kill it. <laughs> Already got my pasta boiling. Have you zoomed on it? Yeah. I've got my pasta going, and once you've got pasta, it's a nice sizzling heat. You need to open up your hands. Yeah. 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 Open up your pasta and just pour it in. However, however much you choose. I think I've used a bit too much there, but you'll be okay. Oh, oh. Be please, be careful kids. Do not burn your hands. And there we go, we've got your pasta in. And I think that's enough for me and Marion. I'm just going to leave it there. But if you want to add more pasta, you can. Pasta is very cheap, and you can buy different colours. You know, if you want tagatelli, then feel free go and get some tagatelli. Uh, right. So let's put this pasta to the side. Here we go. If it spills, guys, the best way to clear up pasta with a little trick of mine: chuck it over your shoulder. There we go. Now. What else we've got? We've got some plates here. Let's get this ready, this is drying. Put these on here on my um, sideboard at the moment. <laughs> to dry. And it's the first time I've used this unit to cook. Let's go now, you've got this sauce, guys. Now I recommend you get a tomato based sauce. So you can get a bolognese, totally up to you, but I mean, I would definitely recommend a bit of salt there, you probably want in your uh, pasta just to make it a little bit crisp. It's an excellent flavour that you might want. Right, let's move along now. We've only got five minutes till we've got to go to the airport. <laughs> and another tip as well. Didn't know how to do these? There we go. Got the lid on. Let's smell the fresh tomatoes. Now guys, if, if you do want to use mushrooms, which we're going to add, now recipe, then we've got a tin of mushrooms here as well. <laughs> 79 cents. 79 cents. This will last you about a week if you don't want to in one go. So you can save them for breakfast. Mmm, lovely. Now, pause it Let's just turn down this a second. This we just talk about our next product that we're going to put it in. Now we bought some processed packet ham. You can get some from the supermarket, I don't know what you want to choose. You might want, and we've got no knife. Never let this be a situation for you. This is crap, because it got nothing. Right, tell you what, instead of a knife, we're going to use a pen. No, we're not. We have got a knife, sorry, we have. Right, guys. Now, first of all, Oh, we've got a sharp knife. There we go. Let's just wash it up. It's important to always do your washing up beforehand because if you leave it to a point where your pasta is cooking nicely, on a nice little simmer there. Let's turn that and get that one going. There we go. On a nice little simmer, then you can um, really appreciate the true art of cooking. So we've got a knife there. Let's just wash that. There we go. And open with the hand now. <laughs> and open with the hand. See, so guys, this is packaged. The reason they do this is to. Oh. What you do? The reason they do this is because there's a little corner on the edge. <laughs> so. Flavour of this ham, there we go. And this, guys, this is chicken. So actually, it's turkey. <laughs> but let's just turn this up now because this is starting to gradually relieve the steam, which you'll get from most um, most of your dishes while you're cooking. And this steam, I'll tell you what, guys, this is a shame. Put the lid on. Yeah? 